ModPath is a particle tracking code developed by the U.S. Geological Survey. ModPath tracks the trajectory of a set of particles from user-defined starting locations using the ModFlow solution as the flow field. The particles can be tracked either forward or backward in time. To analyze the long-term effects of contamination from the landfill, we will be performing two particle tracking simulations. First, we will do forward tracking using an array of particles originating at the landfill to analyze the area of potential contamination. Second, we will do backward tracking from the well on the east side of the model to see if the zone of influence of the well overlaps the landfill. By default, the mod path menu is invisible. We'll turn it on by right-clicking on the 3D grid and selecting Show Mod Path Menu. To analyze the region of potential contamination, we need to track the particles from the landfill. We use the Select Intersecting Objects command to select the associated grid cells. From the Mod Path menu, we select Generate Particles at Selected Cells. We'll generate one particle for each cell, and the particle will be placed on top of the groundwater table to simulate leachate entering from the surface. The particles are now generated. As you can see, some particles travel to the nearby well, and some travel to the south river of the model. Some of the path lines that start at the landfill should terminate at the well. We want to easily identify these, so we'll make them a different color. We'll go to the second layer and assign the mod path zone code for the well to 2. We'll go back to the display options and change the color of the path line to ending code. We'll have GMS automatically assign colors for different zone codes. We can now see two different sets of particles. We can also manually assign the color for different mod path zone codes. Using the Select Particle Starting Locations tool, we can see the particle travel time and length. When a group of particles is selected, GMS provides us with the data for that group. Switching to oblique view, we can see the particles travel through the different layers. We'll turn off the 3D grid cell edges for a better view of the path line. We can now clearly see the particles travel to the river and nearby well. Now let's turn the 3D grid cells back on. GMS can also create a capture zone for particles with the same zone code. Let's create a capture zone for the landfill area so we can see the region of potential contamination. We will also perform backward tracking from the well on the east side to see if the zone of influence overlaps the landfill area. We first create a new particle set by right clicking on the particle sets in the project explorer and select new particle set. We'll name this well capture zone. By default, the tracking duration is set to track to the end. This means ModPath will track the particles until they run into something, like a sink, the water table, or the edge of the model. We can also change the duration of the tracking particles. First, we'll duplicate the well capture zone dataset. We rename the new dataset to 500 days and then change the tracking method to duration. We can see the well capture zone for 500 days now. Similarly, we can create one with 1600 days. We can see now the well capture zone overlapping part of the landfill. Particle tracking can easily be performed with GMS and its powerful tools.